Hey gang, as you can see here, I'm wearing my cool new glasses, and by cool I mean incredibly cool. Not because of the style, but because of what they can do. I'm currently staring at what you're seeing on my laptop screen uh, through two small images, and there's head tracking supported. Seems to be drifting a little bit to the right, but hey, these are uh, not native drivers, and what I mean by that is it just takes over control of your mouse. Looks like uh, native Second Life drivers are going to be written for those, but as you can see, like if I look up, it looks up. If I look down, it looks down, and we're in the lovely Black Swan Sim, built by Resible, uh, one of my favorite content creation teams in the world. So uh, this demo's actually been pretty impressive. The two screens I have in front of me, they're 4x3 resolution, um, not widescreen, which I'd like to see eventually someday. Um, but they're 640x480 screens that scale up pretty nicely to 1024x768, especially for the SL experience. Now, uh, when you're actually using the head tracking, I would recommend keeping an eye on your uh, mouse pad for autocorrection in the mouse look mode. Um, because the calibration still does need a little work, but this is a really exciting step in a new direction. And uh, you can really lose yourself in the immersion. Like, as you can see, I'm looking up and you can see the sky and uh, things drifting from above. And if I look down, you can see the, uh, the whale jumping there. Um, so it's a, it's a very cool system and device, and uh, I'm psyched I got it. Um, it appears sort of like I'm looking, if, if I was sitting, you know, about 5 feet in front of a 12 foot by 8 foot or so projection screen. And uh, it, it's really kind of stunningly immersive. As you can see, I'm wearing my glasses with them. So if you do wear glasses, you should wear them with them. Which is uh, a little uncomfortable at first, but you get used to it. It's got this handy head strap back here. So even if you're a long-haired freak like me, you can keep them on nice and tight. And uh, for the price, it's actually an amazing technology. I did a lot of my senior thesis in the mid-90s on uh, using emerging three-dimensional technology um, for use in education. And, you know, we were dreaming about stuff like this. And the fact that you can get hardware like this for just a couple hundred dollars now is really amazing. Um, you know, the first phase of Lawnmower Man is officially here. Um, so I'm really happy with how these are performing. It's been a great demo model. Um, the company who makes them, Vuzix, has been uh, releasing more and more hardware upgrades and software upgrades every day and releasing more and more native support. And uh, native support for Second Life is in the works, which I can't wait to see because, as you can see right now, with it just taking over the mouse, it's a little jittery, but when you have native support, it does things like smooth out the experience. Um, so Microsoft's Flight Simulator is uh, their latest version now has native support, as do many, many other games. But uh, for you Second Lifers out there, this is uh, definitely a cool thing. And there I go, you know, staring at things. It, it's amazing how quickly you get used to the natural uh, camera moving when you move your head. Um, you know, watching it track is uh, really most of the immersion, even more than the resolution or the big screen. Um, you can also watch movies with these, anything you can do. It's not just limited to Second Life, so if I break out here for a second, out of mouse look mode, I am seeing exactly what you're seeing on the screen right now. I can surf around, and you can see here a list of the applications uh, that it supports. So there, there are quite a few games and virtual worlds that it supports, Second Life, Microsoft Flight Simulator, The Ship, uh, Quake Wars, there's a ton of Dystopia, Half-Life 2, so there's a ton of stuff that's covered. So if you're a gamer, beyond just being a Second Lifer, there really is an amazing amount of support here. i got to say, the weirdest part about using these is not being able to see the camera. You know, I'm looking off in that direction, and I know there's a camera out there. Um, but looking at the screen, well, I'm used to being on camera from being on TV a couple times is uh, a little disconcerting, but I guess that's something I'll have to get used to, too. Um, but really stunning views through this, and uh, you know I'd recommend it for anybody who wants to give it a try. Um, it's definitely still a bleeding edge technology here, very cool technology, uh, but not something I'd use quite in a production environment yet. But overall, uh, a very cool experience. So as you can see, you know we're in a Windows environment here, it makes it really easy. You know I can come over here and play some tracks of my favorite band if I wanted. So you know you can see well enough to do that. I wouldn't recommend trying to read a book through here um, because the upscaling of 1024 by 768 to be on 640 by 480 pixels um, doesn't make it entirely easy. And just so you know, I'm hearing this right now through the local speakers. Um, the speakers actually are made to sit outside 
your ears up here. So those aren't supposed to be earbuds, but uh, it's also got a built-in microphone. So if you're doing some hardcore gaming, you can run your TeamSpeak server or Ventrilo or Second Life voice chat right through the device itself. Uh, so that's a very nice addition. It's all contained in one lightweight headpiece. Uh, I'm really quite amazed with how much technology they pack into something um, this small. So uh, put on your blinders. I'm going to take them off now to give you a little show. As you can see, they're incredibly light. Um, not as lightweight as a normal pair of glasses, but you know, n not weighing much more than a pair of uh, typical swimming goggles. Now, if I bring this up to the camera, and I'm going to have my cameraman show me, you can actually probably see the screens right there. So, as you can see, it's not much bigger than a pair of glasses. You've got about an inch of thickness here. And uh, the earbuds, as I said, are right on the inside. And let me get some of my freakish long hair out of the way. But uh, a great device all over, and uh, I'm really happy to be demoing these out. So, uh, if you're interested, have a look. The website is vuzix.com, and uh, all the rest of the information can be seen on my blog entries. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the head tracking in motion, and uh, I, you know, I really can't wait for native support, uh, which should smooth out the experience a bit more. I'll see you soon.